I already had two kids when I found out I was pregnant with my third. Get your cereal, please. But having gone through this twice before, I figured eh, I knew what to expect. Twins? Well, that was a bit of a surprise. Twins! But uh, things did change slightly, a little more than slightly, but nothing I definitely couldn't handle. Oh, go brush your teeth, go brush your teeth. However, as it happened, this was not a fairy tale pregnancy. At 28 weeks, I did find out that one of my babies was actually having trouble. Intrauterine growth restriction. That's when the baby isn't developing at a normal rate. My whole world turned upside down. My baby may not make it. At 32 weeks, I found out I was having an emergency C-section. It was awful, but I thought at least my journey was over. Boy, was I wrong. Karen was five pounds, one ounce, and Connor was only two pounds, 11 ounces, and both of them were struggling. They were so fragile when they were born. They were just so small. They were immediately taken away to the NICU, and I didn't even get to hold them right away. And my family, well, nobody even knew what to say. There were no congratulations because they really didn't know how the story was gonna turn out. I would spend as much time as I could in the NICU over those next few weeks, practically every waking second. The nurses, the doctors, they were all just so amazing. They really connected with me, and I was included in every conversation and decision about my twins. But then at the end of the day, it was just so hard to go. To drive home and leave my babies behind. I would cry the whole way. I didn't know what to do. I was at a complete loss. Thank goodness for my friends at Holy Redeemer. Connor and Curran were able to come home, both of them. I have such an amazing feeling of gratitude. So I wrote a letter to the NICU staff thanking them for their amazing talents and care of my twins. It sounds corny, I know, but when someone saves your children's lives, it instills something in you, happiness. But I wanted to do more. I wanted to use my talents to help other mothers just like me. So my twins had stayed in the NICU for weeks, and the hardest part about it was that I couldn't be with them all of the time. But that's when I discovered the Angel Eye cameras cameras that could be placed in the NICU so that mothers could always see how their babies were doing. So I went out and I raised that money for Holy Redeemer to purchase the cameras on my own. I didn't even know I had the ability to do something like that. One of the first moms who used my new Angel Eye camera said that it changed her life. I worked hand in hand with Holy Redeemer to provide this special connection between mom and her baby. Holy Redeemer, where stories come to life.